Welcome back guys to tutorial number five and in this video we are going to be learning the various formatting elements in HTML. Now the very first one is the bold tag which is used to make text bold. So let's say we want this word friends to be in bold. So a bold tag is specified using B. So B and then after the content which is friends we are going to be closing the bold tag so a friend slash and a b now when we save it and reload it and you can see here that friends is now bold and bolder than the other words at least now the second one is the italic italic tag which is used to italicize text so let's say we want our heading to be italicized now we make use of the i tag followed by the content then the closing i tag to make any word italicized so save it and then reload it and you see that friends is now italicized now we also have a tag to underline text and that is the u tag now let's say we want to underline six friends so the u tag is used to underline followed by the content and then the closing u tag so a fun slash and then u so save it and when we refresh it you can see here that six friends is now underlined okay now we can also strike through text so let's create a new paragraph and let's say let yeah let, let me create a new paragraph and within the paragraph, let's say um, all 10 seasons now at, um, let's say, $100. And let, let me use the strike through tag. So strike and then close after the $100 with strike. then we can specify let's say ten dollars yep that should do it so when we go ahead save it and refresh it and we can say all 10 seasons now with nope not hundred dollars this is a season sale it's all available at ten dollars so that's how you use the strike through and then we can also have subscripts and superscripts let's say that you're working on an a website which has some algebra in it so let's consider a paragraph tag and within the paragraph let's say we want to specify variables so x1 x2 x3 and so on so we have x and then now we have a subscript so sub is the tag and we specify the closing tag sub once again and then this time we specify one now when you save it and reload it, it says x1. Now you see that x1 is the subscript. Now if you copy it and if you copy it and have another paragraph and instead of subscript change it to superscript and let's say make it 2. And when we save it and reload our web page it says x square so that's how you make use of subscripts and superscripts if you want to you know display some mathematical content and finally we also have a preserve tag that is used to preserve any white spaces within the document so let's say we have a paragraph and we make use of pre which is the preserve tag to preserve the white space so leaving blank spaces and then just leave spaces and then intentionally so when we save it and reload it you see that leaving blank spaces intentionally so the white spaces are now preserved so anyway those are the formatting elements the bold using the b tag the italics using the i tag then underlining using the u tag striking through text using the strike tag 
then we have a subscript and superscript tag then we also have the preserve tag to preserve white spaces within the document thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video